Hi. In certain cases, you want to fetch rich text images. And if it's just one image, we have, of course, already a component out there. But when it's multiple image, maybe it's multiple records, maybe it's big images, then you might hit Salesforce limits. Well, of course, PDF Butter has a way to come across these Salesforce limits, and that's what I'm going to explain to you now. So uh, we have this image over here. The way that Salesforce saves these images in uh, for a rich text is uh, kind of difficult. So that's why there's not a lot of solutions that can actually handle them correctly, uh, and we can handle them correctly. Let's see how we would go about that. First step is to make sure that the rich text image uh, add-on package is installed. So you can get this rich text add-on package via our support department, our customer success department, and all you have to do is ask. Okay, next step is we're gonna create some data sources and some actionables to actually pre-process the data before we send it off to PDF Butter. So in this pre-processing, we're gonna create a new data source. We're gonna, it's gonna be in this case, a key value data source, and we're gonna name it rich text image image URLs. Okay, it's gonna be a list of objects because maybe you have multiple uh, records in there. And then I'm gonna save this already. So this is what we would need in step one. Next up is we're gonna go back to our, uh, um, to our doc config. Okay, this is the one. And on that doc config, we're gonna create an actionable. So an actionable is an action that you wanna take before or after um, generating the document. And in this case, it's gonna be before, but after we have retrieved the data sources because we wanna make changes or we wanna use the data from the data sources to actually know what kind of information we wanna process. So we're gonna call this actionable rich text URL. Then the class that I'm gonna use is this one. You will find it on our academy. And that one is active. It's uh, before but after data sources, so that's fine. Sometimes it's called after data sources, but it has to be uh, after data sources. We're gonna use the opportunity uh, data source. The rich text object name is opportunity, and the field is going to be called. Let's take a look. Uh, free free text. So that's the API name of the field. Okay, let's go back to our actionable. That's the API name of the field. So where do we want to store these? Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to get actually the URLs to fetch the image. We're not going to fetch the actual image. Like I said, fetching the actual image before we start processing the documents might blow up the uh, Salesforce limits. And that's uh, what we want to uh, just achieve that we don't hit the Salesforce limits. So um, we're going to have a data source where we want to store these URLs. So that's this, uh, this data source. And we have to say, what is the height of the picture? Let's say that the picture height is going to be uh, 50 I have, or 75. Let's do 75. Okay, so this is the height of the picture that you want to see in the document, because actually how Salesforce manages this, that uh, in this overview, there's actually no height set of the image. So if the image is huge, yeah, which uh, we see some customers doing, just taking big pictures, big images from their uh, cameras and uploading here, then uh, this is going to show huge inside the document and you have no way to control it because Salesforce does not allow to change the height here. Okay, let's save this. So we have our actionable now as set up. We have our doc config. Let's go to the configuration screen. In our configuration screen, we're gonna use the opportunity data source. On the opportunity data source, uh, we also need to add, uh, on, sorry, on this uh, doc config also need to add our uh, rich uh, text images URLs, okay. And I'm gonna add uh, two fields here. The first field, this, uh, these field names have to be exactly like I put here. So uh, the first field is gonna call be called PDF Butter Parent ID. So we need to know 
to where the image is going to link to. So we have an image in our rich text field. So if you have multiple images here, we need to know, of course, at this location, which image to show. So that is going to be an identifier eh, to, uh, to link this the image with the placeholder that's in the uh, actual rich text. Because you see it in the browser that there is an image here, but actually there is just a placeholder here, a link to this image in the, uh, in the text that we need to parse. So that's one field. And the second field is called PDF butter underscore URL. Okay, so we have both fields now. Make sure they are put in correctly. Uh, they will be on the Academy, so you can easily copy paste from there. And then we're going to add something cool. We're going to add here a dynamic picture data source. So a dynamic pictures data source is actually going to use the URLs, which the URLs actually download the images. And then these images can be put inside the documents. So we're not going to download the images or fetch the images in Salesforce. Like I said, that would hit him the limits, but we're going to fetch them right here in the uh, during the generation of the documents. Let's call this uh, RTF images or pictures. Let's call it pictures. The ID field obviously is going to be the parent ID. The URL is going to be the URL. That's easy. And now let's already save this. So no uh, errors. Let's add a config type now. So the config type um, type is name is going to be rich text. It's going to be a rich text v2. Data source is um, in this case our opportunity. Data source field is our free text. Yeah, free text, merge field, rich text. And then you have to set which is the data source for my images. So if you don't see this field, you have to connect to uh, uh, our support department again because they have to enable that. Same thing for these uh, dynamic images. Uh, there might be an extra cost link to that depending on your license settings. So please connect to our uh, support department for more information. So rich text pictures, it's there. And now configuration is done. That's all you need to do actually to say to the system from a rich text field, there is a picture there and we want to show it when we generate the document. So now let's give it a test. Um, this is our uh, doc previewer. This is our doc config. Let's click the button. It should uh, run the configuration. So now it will uh, retrieve the image. And as you can see, indeed, the image is set very nicely inside the document, exactly at the location that I intended to. So we have now taken the rich text uh, picture, uh, the rich text field, and shown the image, and the configuration was shown in this uh, video.